Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. Today we are discussing two concepts. First is force majeure and the second one is privity. Both of these are part of procurement management knowledge area. If you are into reading articles, if you would rather read about these concepts than watching a video, then the first link in the description is going to take you to a relevant article on this topic over at our official website pmclounge.com. Also, second link in the description will contain every single video that we have done in the procurement management knowledge area. The entire playlist will be available. So two important links. Third link is all your FAQs, all the questions that you have had on procurement management knowledge area. So we've discussed that. So three important links, check them out. But before you check those links out, Let's talk about force majeure and privity. So force majeure is part of the privity. What do you think about this sentence? Force majeure is part of the privity. Of course, what you think is these kind of horrible words are used in this sentence. And these kind of horrible words are what you're dealing with when you're dealing with contracts. So although as a project manager, you're not expected to write contracts and read and understand them completely because they are going to have words like these. But from PMP exam point of view, it's good. It's nifty to know these concepts, these terms, because they may show up in your exam. And we will also look into some of the sample questions based on these concepts in this video. So hang around to check that out. But yes, as a project manager, as a PMP certified project manager, you are expected to have a fair idea of what force majeure, what privity and other such concepts, other such terms mean. So let's talk about force majeure first. And this is basically a provision in the contract. So this is part of the contract. And what it does is this provision excuses the parties involved from any liability or contractual obligations due to acts of God, wars, terrorist attacks or other such events. So in the event of any natural disaster, in the event of a war breaking out, the contractual obligations or any kind of liabilities those are excused and this provision this provision of excusing is known as force majeure so let's take a look at a sample question a devastating tornado has caused the airports to be shut you won't be able to ship the hardware to the customer on the promised date the buyer is fine with the delay because she understands the following clause of the contract. Now, no points in guessing we are talking about force majeure. So, of course, the answer is force majeure. But there are other options here. Retainage, intellectual property, sole source. So, this is a kind of question that may show up in your PMP exam related to force majeure. So, it's a nifty little concept that you should understand. Okay, before we talk about privity, let me remind you, Project Management 101 a one and a half hour free session on the introduction of project management. You can check it out at pmclounge.com slash pm101. Okay, so let's talk about privity now. Privity is a legal term for the relationship between the parties involved in a contract. So basically it is a legal term. It is used for relationship between the parties involved in a contract. Who are the parties? Let's take an example. So in a project involving subcontracts, there is privity between the prime buyer and the prime seller, but not between the prime buyer and the subcontractors. So what this means is if you sign a contract with a seller, you have privity with the seller. This seller may have certain vendors of their own. Now, you do not have privity with those sub vendors, with those subcontractors, right? Those people that the prime seller is signing contracts with. So your privity is with the prime seller, not with the subcontractors or vendors of the prime seller. Basically, you can think of privity as a fancy term used in procurement for relationships. So your relationship in the above example was with the prime seller, no one else. 
Now here's a sample question that may or may not show up in your PMP exam related to privity. You are the project manager for a company that completes the installation of electrical fixtures in manufacturing environments. Part of your typical contractual agreement includes coverage of intellectual rights and privity. Privity is what? So this is the question here. Now, of course, we have done several videos where we talk about how PMP designs their questions and some of the tips that you can use to answer your PMP questions. This question could have been just three words. What is privity? Everything else is a red herring. This information is not really needed. Anyways, the four options that you have are A, the relationship between the project manager and a known vendor. Is that privity? The relationship between the project manager and an unknown vendor. Is that privity? The contractual confidential information that defines the relationship between the customer and the vendor. Is that privity? Or the professional information regarding the sale between the customer and the vendor. What do you think is the appropriate definition of privity? What is privity? If you think the answer is A, you are actually wrong because the correct answer is C. The A, the problem with answer A is that it is not necessarily a relationship between just the project manager and a vendor. The relationship, first of all, is contractual. It is confidential. And this information defines the relationship between the customer. This is the word I was looking for and the vendor. So not just the project manager. It could be anyone. It is between the customer and the vendor most likely it is between two organizations and not just the project manager of a certain organization and the vendor organization as a whole so the correct answer is c so that's all that we had in this video i hope you found it helpful privity and force majeure good concepts to know smash the like button if you got value out of this video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content also don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you